Now, most people think that when they see this bird and this bird looks in their direction that she's a little scary looking. Um, she's got a rather intimidating looking face, but she happens to be one of the sweetest, most gentle natured birds that I have. This is all bluff, this is all for show. called a spectacled owl. Spectacles like glasses. Well, if this bird looks in your direction, it can look like she's wearing a pair of big glasses, goggles, or a mask because of the colors of the feathers on her face. So that's where they get the name spectacled owl. A little bit larger and more powerful than a barn owl that allows them to catch larger prey. Keep in mind, they can't just catch anything they want. They're limited in what they can catch by their size and strength. A bird of prey in general can't carry anything heavier than it is, and usually not even nearly that. This is also going to be a bird that eats small rodents. They're all opportunists. They'll catch anything they can to survive, but they tend to focus on certain types of prey in certain areas. This bird, what I'm doing right now is something I very rarely do. The one thing I want to stress about the birds is that they are not pets. There's a big difference between being trained and tamed. They are a trained working wild animal, not a tame animal like a dog or a cat. For the most part, they don't like to be petted or played with or cuddled. This bird, again, there's always exceptions to the rule and they're all different. I happen to know, because I raised her from a baby, she feels very calm and secure when I give her a little scratch on the head. And the reason I'm doing this is, well, let's, let's talk about this. Training these birds, a huge part of training them is giving them positive experiences, not negative ones. I can't explain things to the bird. I can't give them details. They have small brains. I have to keep the lessons simple. So, to make it a positive learning experience, I'm distracting her a little bit, making her comfortable, so that I can walk around and you can see her and she can see you, because I want her to learn a lesson. I want all the birds to learn a lesson today, a positive lesson. A simple lesson that there's nothing to fear. So I do whatever I can, wherever I am, to give them positive learning experiences. And she's making a, as I pass by, you might have heard her making some unusual chuckling sounds. Owls have quite a vocabulary. Different sounds mean different things. We're familiar with owls hooting, and many people think that's all that they do, but that's not true. They're capable of making an incredible variety of sounds. They can screech and scream and whistle, bark like a dog, laugh like a person. This time of year, especially in this area, it's nesting season for some of our larger owls, like great horned owls and barred owls. They get very, very vocal at night. On a full moon, for example, that's like broad daylight to an owl. And when the young leave the nest and they're following their parents around the forest begging for food, you'll hear all kinds of unusual sounds coming out of the woods. Okay, next owl.